Hi everyone and welcome to my online lesson on reflections. So reflections is one of the four transformations that you need to know at both foundation and higher tier. This question says, draw an image of triangle A when it is reflected in the line Y equals 1. Label your image B. So in this question, they've not actually drawn on for me where the line of reflection is, but they've told me that it's the line y equals 1. So I need to draw this on first. The line y equals 1 are all the coordinates that have a y coordinate of 1. So for example, we have 0, 1, you could have 3, 1, or you could have minus 2, 1. So you'll notice it's actually all the coordinates along this line here. So an easy way to remember it is, if you have the line y equals 1, look for the 1 on the y-axis, which is there, and then draw a line going straight through that 1. So if the line of reflection was x equals 3, I would find the 3 on my x-axis, which is here, and draw a vertical line going through that 3. So I'm going to put my line in place. So y equals 1 is there. And now I need to complete my reflection. This one you can you probably be able to do it by eye and just see where it lands and you'll know what it looks like. Um, you can use tracing paper to help you. So you can put your tracing paper over the triangle and the line. Trace over the line and the triangle. Then flip your tracing paper over. Make sure the line is matched up and it'll tell you where the triangle ends up. Or you can do it by counting, which is the method I generally use. So this vertex here is two squares away from the line. So I'm going to go a further two squares away, and that's where that point will end up. I can do that with all my points, or I can see now where the triangle ends up. And because it's reflected, it's almost the opposite direction. It's been flipped over. One last step to do it, it says label your image B, so I'm going to label B. Here's another example. This one is harder because we have a diagonal line to reflect my shaping. This diagonal line, they've drawn on for me, it's called Y equals X. You need to know how to draw this line though, because they won't always give you it drawn. So this is the line Y equals X, you can see that it goes through 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, and 5, 5, because the y coordinate and the x coordinate are always the same. So, this is a sketch of how it might look on a four quadrant grid where you've got all four quadrants. And then you also need to know y equals minus x, which is this same diagonal line but going in the opposite direction, so it's got a negative gradient. So, I want to reflect my shape. Again, you could use tracing paper, which might be helpful for this. So place your tracing paper so it covers the triangle and the line. Draw your line and your triangle onto the tracing paper. Then flip the tracing paper over to the other side. Line up the line again and line up where the triangle would go. So you can use that way. It might be helpful. I like to do the counting way. So I'm going to start with this point here. And to get from this point to the line, I'm going to go directly to the line. It is half a square across. So I'm going to travel the other half a square, and that is where my point will end up. I'm going to do this for all my points, because it can be harder with a diagonal line of symmetry to tell where the shape's going to end up. So this point here, to get to the line, I go diagonally across two squares. So I'm going to do that again, diagonally across two that's where that point ends up. And this one here is diagonally across three squares. So I'm going to go across another three and that's where the shape will end up. Now I've done every vertex, I could just need to join these together. So my shape will look like this. It can be useful while you're doing these or as a way of checking is to actually tilt your page once you've done it and check does that look symmetrical, does it look right. Thank you for watching.